this is the one of the oldest train stations in Lebanon dating back to the late Ottoman early French period okay and people people like doing wedding shoots here So immediately before going to Syria, I actually spent 10 days in Lebanon, mostly in Tripoli and Beirut. And immediately upon leaving Syria, I decided to spend an additional 12 days in Lebanon, mostly exploring new areas that I had not been to before, but also re-exploring many of the beautiful areas that I had been to before and wanted to visit again. Standing here in the middle of a roundabout in Tripoli. My friend just left me stranded here. I'm waiting for a pickup. I don't know what I'm doing. What is going on? Selfie video. Picture. Do you feel safe right now, Mitch? Are you doing a video? Yeah. Do I feel safe? Yes. I feel incredibly safe. Why are we dressed in military gear in Sunni majority northern Lebanon with ISIS sleeper cells? Um, well, because I figured that you know, there it wasn't my choice. I think I look good though. We do look good. But that's, it's... that's the most important thing. I don't want to look bad. I want to look good. I don't think it's conveying the right message, though. Don't worry, I won't upload this. Unless I have your permission. Well, not yet. Yeah, I'll do it after January 14th. How about that? Yes. I'm not going to upload this now. Especially when our leader is dressed like that. So the reason why Mitch and I decided to dress up like this, our supreme leader, Samar, had us dressed this way because he thought it would convey the right message. That message being that we are going around helping lower income communities in northern Lebanon, simply providing humanitarian aid, medical assistance, financial aid, and food. You guys have a similar style. What? What did you just say? <laughs> I said it's that time o'clock. How's it going, buddy? What are you doing? Let's get him. <laughs> Doggy boy. Oh my god. Patata. Hummus? Oh. What else do we have here? This is the good part of the food. Is that Yes. <laughs> 